Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are analysing Kiyoshi Okubo, who is widely regarded as one of Japan's worst serial killers. Okubo was born on the 17th of January in 1935 in what is today Takaski City and was the third of eight children. His eldest brother passed away shortly after his birth. His father worked for what was the Ministry of Railways as an engineer but was laid off in 1949 following the end of the Second World War. His mother was of Russian descent. His parents eventually divorced and his father remarried, with his father and Japanese stepmother having sex in front of their children. Brought up in the midst of the Second World War, Okubo was bullied in school due to his mixed Russian-Japanese heritage with Japan in conflict with the Soviet Union at the time. As a result, Okubo disliked school and performed poorly. In 1946, Okubo committed his first crime, taking a young girl into a wheat field and sexually abused her by stuffing stones into her vagina. His mother defended him and Okubo was not charged. He dropped out of the Gunma Prefectural Takasaki Commercial High School in 1952 at the age of 17. He then worked at an electronic appliance store in Itabashi Ku in Tokyo. In April 1953, he opened up a radio repair shop called Saiden Kogyo Shokai in his parents' house. However, he lacked trade and knowledge of radios and had difficulty in procuring radio repair parts. As a result, from July 1953 until January 1954, he shoplifted and was arrested eight times in Takasaki City. His father settled the case, paying the store a settlement. However, his radio repair store was closed. On the 12th of July 1955, Okubo committed his first rape, raping a 17-year-old schoolgirl in Mayabashi while pretending to be a college girl. Sentenced to one year and six months in prison, he was seen as a model prisoner and released after six months. On the 26th of December 1955, he raped a woman again and spent three years and six months at Matsumoto Prison. Paroled early on the 15th of December 1959, on the 16th of April 1960, he pretended to be a university student in Mayabashi bought a 20-year-old female student home and raped her. His father and stepmother found out what he was doing and stopped him. The case was settled out of court and dismissed. In May 1961, he met a woman and married her one year later. His eldest son was born in 1963. One year later, he opened up a milk shop with his younger brother running a similar business. On the 3rd of June 1965, his brother tried to steal two milk bottles from him, which led Okubo to attempt to extort his brother of 20,000 Japanese yen. Arrested for extortion and attempted extortion, he was sentenced to one year in prison and given a four-year suspended sentence. It was only now that his wife found out about his criminal history. In the same year, his eldest daughter was born. Once released from prison, his criminal history and history of sexual crimes followed him. On the 23rd of December 1966, he kidnapped a 16-year-old high school girl in his car and raped her in his car in a car park in Takasaki. On the 24th of February 1967, he kidnapped a 20-year-old female university student and raped her in the same car park. Eventually arrested, he was sentenced to three years and six months in prison. The four-year suspension for his extortion case was cancelled and he was sentenced to an additional four years and six months in prison. Imprisoned at Fuchul Prison, the largest prison in Japan, once again he was seen as a model prisoner and received four awards from the director. His wife requested a divorce, but Okubo prevented it from going through. Released on parole, he moved in with his parents. He attempted to reconcile with his wife, but was unsuccessful, with his mother-in-law informing him that his second brother suggested that she would be better off not to live with him. Desperate, and uncertain what would happen, he decided to become a serial killer. Purchasing a brand new Mazda Cream Coupe on the 12th of March 1971, for which he paid 210,000 Japanese yen, starting from the 31st of March 1971, he used his vehicle to get women into his car and in total murdered eight women. The first victim he killed was in Tano-gun on the 31st of March 1971. 
His victim was a 17-year-old high school student. His second victim, who he killed on the 6th of April 1971, was picked up at Takasaki City in Gunma Prefecture and was a 17-year-old waitress. On the 11th of April 1971, he forced a 20-year-old female clerk in Tomioka City into his car, raped her and injured her, but she survived. On the 17th of April 1971, he got a 19-year-old temporary prefectural office staff member into his car and killed her in Mayabashi City in Gunma Prefecture. His fourth victim was killed one day later in Isaeki City in Gunma Prefecture and was a 17-year-old high school student. On the 27th of April 1971, he forced his youngest victim, a 16-year-old high school girl from Mayabashi City, into his car and killed her. On the 3rd of May 1971, he forced an 18-year-old female from Isasaki City, who worked for the Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Corporation, into his car and killed her. Six days later, on the 9th of May 1971, he forced a 21-year-old girl from Fujioka City in Gunma Prefecture into his car and killed her. Unlike all of the other victims who he killed, she was raped. His final victim was a 21-year-old housemaid who was killed in Mayabashi City one day later. Okubo did little to hide the victims. Four were buried in a vacant lot adjacent to an industrial park near Takasaki City, and the other victims were discarded at rural dump sites. His second to last victim's brother had witnessed his sister getting into Okubo's car and remembered the model and number. Police were informed of this and a full scale search consisting of 70 police cars looked for Okubo on the 12th and 13th of May before arresting him on the 14th of May and charging him with one murder. Upon his arrest, a girl was in his car. He gave her some money and informed her, you better get a taxi home. On the 15th of May, the woman that he raped and attempted to kill on the 11th of April 1971 came forward. Okubo admitted that he had raped and injured the victim but denied killing the 21-year-old female from Fujioka City. Gradually, however, other bodies were discovered and Okubo eventually confessed to his crimes and led police to the remaining bodies. A total of eight young women were killed in one and a half months. It was during this time that his wife was finally able to successfully divorce him. His first trial was held in Mayabashi District Court on the 25th of October 1971. Professor Osamu Nakata of the Tokyo Medical and Dental University found that Okubo did not have a psychotic disorder but had an abnormal personality. On the 22nd of February 1973, he was sentenced to death. Asked by press for comments, he stated, If I could be reborn, I would like to come back as a weed. I was told by a woman I once knew that no matter how much weeds are tread on, they snap back. That's the kind of existence I would like to have in the next life. Held at Mayabashi Prison, he did not appeal to the Tokyo High Court. Just two years and ten months after his death sentence, he was executed at the Tokyo Detention Center on the 22nd of January 1975, five days after his 41st birthday. Allegedly, he was so nervous during his hanging that he could not stand up. The one-off TV drama, The Crime of Kiyoshi Okubo, was broadcast on the 29th of August 1983 on Japanese TV station TBS and reenacted the story of Okubo. Okubo was played by Japanese actor Takeshi Kitano. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.